Blood is thicker than water. We always hear this old saying from some people that blood is thicker than water, but not necessarily so. Because sometimes blood is not always thicker than water. Not all relationships are biological. Not all relationships are physical. Our Lord in the Gospel reading for today is telling us that there is another kind of kinship. There is a higher kind of relationship. And this relationship is not biological. Our Lord lays down the conditions of true kinship in our Gospel reading for today. True kinship is not solely a matter of flesh and blood. It can happen that a person is really nearer to someone who is no blood relation to him at all than he is to those who are bound to him by the close ties of kin and blood. Where does real kinship lie? Where does real relationship lie? There are four short elements. Number one, real kinship lies in a common experience, especially when it is an experience where two people have really come through things together. It has been said that two people really become friends when they are able to say to each other, Do you remember? And then to go on and on and on and talk about the things that they have come through together. The basis of true kinship lies in a common experience. And Christians have the common experience of being forgiven sinners. The apostles themselves have a common experience because they have a common experience of Jesus. The second element, true kinship lies in a common interest. Christians have that common interest because they are people who desire to know more about God. Apostles have a common interest because they want to know more about Jesus and they want to spend more time with Jesus. The third element, real kinship lies in a common obedience. The apostles were a mixed group of people. All kinds of beliefs and opinions were mixed up among them. But in spite of their different opinions, in spite of their different backgrounds in life, they have a common obedience. When the Lord invited them to follow Him, they all obeyed the command of Jesus. The fourth element, real kinship lies in a common goal. My dear brothers and sisters, there is nothing for binding people together like a common goal, like a common aim. Why are the seminarians, for example, in the seminary? You are not here to become doctors. You are not here to study to become pilots. You are not here to study to become engineers. You are in the seminary because you are supposed to have a common goal. You want to be missionaries. You want to be priests. You want to be religious at some day in your life. There is nothing for binding people together like a common aim. And so, my dear friends, relationships such as blood or family or ethnic origin or social class will be completely irrelevant in the kingdom of God. Jesus points to another higher reality of relationships, and that is our relationship 
with God. As we continue with our celebration of the Mass today, our Lord is challenging us to change the order of relationships because true kinship is not just a matter of flesh and blood. We are not related biologically and physically, but true kinship can also be by our spiritual relationship. Amen.